Okay, are you ready? Yeah, come in, come in. What are you doing? I'm actually not liable to answer that question. <laughs> Why are you going down the shops? Are you get? Are you getting dressed up? Keaton, it's not a date. You look impeccable. Really? Okay. You do? Make me proud. I'm proud of you. I feel like a princess. You should. Do you know why? Because you are a princess. I'll go set the table. Ah. Got some. What can I get you through the ring lights? Uh, I'll have a bottle of your finest Pepsi, please. Do you want it still or sparkling? Uh, can I have mine sparkling, please? I will also have mine sparkling, thank you. <laughs> the precision. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, you can leave the bottle. Hello everybody, I hope you enjoyed that intro. Cheers. Cheers, honey bun. Uh, this is our Valentine's Day. <laughs> We're going to be reading some fan fiction that you guys sent in today. I'm reading glasses now. Two glasses on. Chapter 1 uh, by BBY Mistress. Keaton woke up at 3 a.m. with a buzzing in his head. He mused his curly hair and walked out the door clad in boxer briefs. So he opened the fridge, which is actually the most satisfying noise in the world. Oh, that noise. Looking for something editable and not the random guy. Edible, in not editable. No, yeah, they put editable. <laughs> <laughs> and not the random guy in his fridge. What? What the hell? He closed the fridge. He opened the fridge. Jack's still there. He closed it again and walked away. What, am I a dead body? <laughs> he jumped into bed attempting to go back to sleep. But who would have ever expected for that person who was somehow in his fridge now to be climbing into his California king size bed because he was bald? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Can you leave now? I'll show you through the door and everything. But we're like, meant to be together. The small man said, trailing his fingers up and down his arm. <laughs> he inflict his fingers away. <laughs> <Go on>. Oh! <laughs> But suddenly he woke up with someone shaking him. It was all a dream. Oh my god. He looked in the person's eyes that shook him awake and it was the love of his life, Jack. He must have been dreaming about him again. You would not believe what I just dreamt about. You were in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so, this who's is, this from? This is from Raven. Oh shit, I jumped out of bed vaguely realising I was, wasn't wearing anything. Not even my boxers. Probably courtesy of my friend's panty dropping smile. Mortified, I pulled the sheets from him and covered my body, then scooped up what I assumed were his pants from the pile of clothes <laughs> and tossed them towards Jack. He caught them in midair but didn't hurry to put them on. Well, he was obviously comfortable with his private parts on full display. Good on him! Yes! Before I sprinted out the door and headed for the safety of the kitchen, running right into Connor, brewing morning coffee! <laughs> yeah! Is somebody doing the walk of fame? Connor pointed out at my burning cheeks. Connor held out his coffee mug. Yeah, yeah, take it. You need more than me. You think last night was a mistake? So I guess I'll just have to convince you it wasn't. <laughs> oh my god! In the end, all King can do is let it happen. The other's determination is unstoppable and apparently so is their friendship. <laughs> so I'm a rapist, thank you. Hi, my name is October and I really enjoy your channel. Make more lookbooks. Yes, mm. loads more lookbooks coming. I got inspiration from, uh, for this from simply watching your videos and being distracted by Jack's beautiful hair. Wow, thanks. Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> Keaton was envious of Jack. Whenever Keaton, Keaton and Jack hung out, Keaton would always glance over at Jack's voluptuous curls and wish his hair could be the same texture and volume as his friends. And once Keaton had exhausted all of his options, he realised he had to exploit his last resort. A perm. <laughs> Did I? What? Are you being serious? That's actually in there. You have a perm, yeah. Oh, I've got no one. So, uh, hair salon. Why are we here? Jack asked, perplexed. Uh, okay, I'll just come out with it. I'm getting a perm. <laughs> Jack bursted out in laughter so much he was gasping for breath and holding his abdomen for support. Keaton let out a few gentle chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll straighten my hair so it looked like yours. Keaton, oh, Keaton laughed at him. You did as well. Someone called Ganny970. Hello, Ganny. It was tiring. It was exhausting. It was becoming repulsive. The struggles were becoming too much and it was all sickening. Jack became more and more close with Paul in <laughs> Pinky and more day by day. He brushed his teeth before showering. He finished and headed towards his closet looking for an outfit. 
he got ready and looked stylish. Duh, of course he always looks good. He's Keaton. Keaton woke up to a familiar ringtone. He yawned and turned over, reaching for his phone. He raised his eyebrows, seeing Paul's name on the screen. Hi. I <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I just want you to know everything's set up. I'll be taking Jack shopping exactly at three, so I'll see you then. <laughs> he met up with his friends in South Forest Bryant's. He walked inside the mall entrance and stood to the side as he looked out the window. He smiled when he saw Jack walking towards the mall with Paul and tried to hide his jealousy seeing them linked arms. <laughs> he watched as Jack looked around confused when music started playing and people started dancing around him. Jack wiped away the tear that fell from his face as he smiled noddingly. As he jumped on Keaton and hugged him tightly. Keaton smiled happily, hugged Jack back off the kissing his cheek. Paul smiled at the two as he clapped happy like everyone else in the crowd. Yes, nice one, guys. This one's from Dust Wolf, but this one is very graphic. I'm going to put it in the description below. But this is... I don't think we can wow. read this Wow. This is... Wow. <laughs> it's me! They've put Jack on BTS. I love it. A phone call between Jack and Keaton. Hey, Keaton, you heard any BTS coming to London yet? What? No, seriously, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, anyway, I'm thinking of going for an interview so I can be part of the Korean place. <laughs> <laughs> Day of the interview. Don't, they're never going to let you in. Of course they will. Anyway, just focus on your driving. Sighed as he looked out the car window. Inside the venue, Jack and Keaton walked around the venue until they found some staff. Hey, excuse me, I need to talk with the BTS, said Jack. <laughs> okay, uh, how the hell did they let you in? I don't know, but I have a feeling I'm going to ace this interview, said Jack. <laughs> Suddenly, one of the members walked oh out from God. the waiting room, making eye contact with Jack. Oi, you're the pretty policeman from that <laughs> music video, screwed Jack. Excuse me, who are you? Said Jungkook. Uh, I'm, I'm Jack, nice to meet you. Oh yeah, Jack, you said I was an email about the job interview, right? <laughs> Come on, this way. Can interview me? So Jack, why did you inquire about this job opportunity? I thought the Korean police force looked quite inviting, <laughs> so I'm here. You're hired! <laughs> <laughs> really? Wow, I can't wait to tell Keaton about this. Was that your friend outside? Question Cookie? Yeah, why? We'll have to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I hate you! Jack, uh, I really like you. I saw you on YouTube. That's the only reason I accepted your email, started Jungkook. <laughs> Jungkook set a strong sexual gaze towards Jack. Jack was completely flustered. <laughs> <laughs> Jack seemed to accept John Cook's feelings as he started to lean in towards John Cook's lips. Jack dearly loved his mi oh Jilly his fiance Keaton. Oh we're all we're, we're engaged. Oh, that's fun though. Jack Keaton screamed. It, it's not what it looks like, mumbled Jack, pulling away from John Cook's lips. <laughs> you were the only one I truly love. Is it true, Jack? <laughs> to be H, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, I will forever will. love you. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Keaton flipped John Cook the wound finger and laughed. Thank you everyone for watching. Well, Thank you, I guess. Well, I feel closer to you, Jack. Well, I feel like I've learned a lot about you, Keaton. <laughs>